Hi, in this demo of Phone Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how you can use Phone Titan's custom Salesforce action button in order for the user to create or update data in Salesforce but stay on the page, get the new ID for example and continue using that ID in the form. In our example, we'll create an account and once the account has been created, we will let the user manipulate contacts without leaving the page. So we need a text box to capture the account name. We need a button for them to press in order to create that account. So I'll call it create account. Just make it a bit smaller, something like that. And we need hidden field to capture that account ID, the newly created account ID. So here we call it account ID. <coughs> Perfect. So first thing I want to do is create the account. Obviously account name is mandatory, so I'll do that. And then all I need to do is set the button to Salesforce action and click set in order to set that Salesforce action. So I'm gonna do that. So currently I don't have any actions. I can click configure push, push integration. I will do that. And I will click add object to add the account object. So here we'll select account. I will select the use in custom button because that's what we want to do. The action is create. And I'll map my field, which is the account name. <coughs> okay, I'll click apply and finish. And now we can select that action, click add, and I want to return the value to the account ID. So the account ID that we've just created will come to our hidden field account ID. I'll click apply. So that's the first step. Now we want them to be able to manipulate contacts. So what I'll do is I'll bring in from Salesforce the table control. So we'll do that. Make it a bit bigger and let's say you got first name, last name and email. Okay, and now I'm gonna map the fields for the table how to interact with Salesforce. And again here we'll click add object to add the contact object. So we'll select the contact object. The condition will be that the account ID of the contact in Salesforce equals our hidden field account ID. And then again, we just need to map our fields. So if we scroll all the way down and we map the first name, the last name, and the email over, that's all we have to do. So if we click apply a few times, and then we will get what we wanted. Now, we want them to be able to add contacts because at first there'll be no contact for that newly created account. So I'll go to advance. I can say allow edit allow add, I will configure the add to allow all these and I want them all to be mandatory as well. You can obviously add more fields if you want to. Um, and the same thing for edit, um, we can edit everything and they are all mandatory. Okay, now one thing when we come back to the add account, add contact, we obviously need to uh, associate it with the same account ID and we can say add and then we can just say map value from our account ID field. So then when the new contract is, contact is created, the account ID is set. That's all we have to do. The last thing I want to do is hide this table if the account ID is empty because they can't add a contact or manipulate contacts until they've created the account. So what I'll do is go to conditioning, set condition, make it simple. I want to hide that a table when account ID is empty. And I've got support opposite, so if it's not empty, it will show. So let's see this in action. I'll click view. And here our account. Obviously, if I click create account, it says mandatory field. Perfect. So test custom button. That's my account name. I'll click create account. Now we go to Salesforce and we've created this account. Let's have a quick look. So if I go to my account, you can see test custom button, perfect, account has been created, obviously no contacts yet, but now we can come and click add and say uh, my first contact. So let's say first 
contact then first at contact.com something like that click add and now that contact has been added to Salesforce let's have a look refresh the page or in Salesforce and now you can see our contact we can come and add another one so let's say second contact and let's say oops we want to say second at contact.com click add and that's been added as well let's have a look there it is two of them we can also edit the contact we have just added and maybe we want to change the first name to something like that and that's done that's it that's all you have to do to create an account and manipulate contacts on the fly without the user having to do anything the other thing you can do is obviously once the account is created make the text box and the button disappear as well as show the table and to do that it's quite easy um, let's go back to the form and we'll say we'll put a condition on the account ID for example and we say when the field is empty I want you to go and show our um, account name show that and we want to show the button I click apply and that's it now because we got support opposite it will disappear as soon as the account is created let's see that so this is my test account 3 for example, or 34 I click create account and once that's done you can see everything disappeared and then we can come and add new contacts that's all you have to do in order to manipulate Salesforce data without leaving the page thank you very much